Warning, some of the photos you are about to see may be disturbing for some. The photos themselves don't show anything graphic, but with context, they are horrifying. So, viewer discretion is advised. This is an infamous photo of Regina K. Walters. It is referred to as the most terrifying photo ever taken, because just moments after this photo was taken, Regina K. Walters would be killed. This is also Regina K. Walters, a 14-year-old girl from Pasadena, Texas. A photo full of life and happiness, a girl with dreams and aspirations, and a whole life ahead of her. But she was a teenager and wasn't without her problems. And at some point in the date I cannot seem to verify, her and her boyfriend, Ricky Lee Jones, they ran away from their homes in Texas. The two of them would be reported missing, but they would never be seen again. In September 1990, some months after Regina and her boyfriend disappeared, police would find the skeletal remains of Regina K. Walters. She was found in Illinois, and her remains were found in this exact abandoned farmhouse. About a month later, the body of Ricky Lee Jones would also be found at a different location. On the morning of April 1st, 1990, in Arizona, a highway patrolman would find a truck pulled off to the side of the road with its hazard lights on. The patrolman approached the truck with caution, and inside he found a handcuffed nude woman. Her name was Kathleen Vine. She was alive. And in the truck with her was this man, Robert Ben Rose, who would later become known as the Truck Stop Killer. So police were able to get a warrant to search the home of Robert Rhodes, and that is when they found the photos that Robert Rhodes took. So again, I'm warning you, the following photos may be disturbing to some. So in his little photo album, if you will, they discovered photos of Regina K. Walters. The photos were taken in the exact location she was found. She was certainly not wearing the clothing she had been wearing when she was reported missing, and all of her hair had been cut off. They believe her head was shaved, and enough time had passed for some of her hair to grow back. This would suggest that Robert Rhodes kidnapped her and held her for quite some time. They believe her boyfriend was killed the same day they were taken. In this little photo album, they also found pictures of the boyfriend. So we went from this to this. A girl with hopes and dreams and a future ahead of her to a girl terrified and moments away from her brutal murder. They believe that she had been strangled to death just moments after this photo was taken. Oh! <laughs> Fuck, dude. He got multiple life sentences. It's possible he may have killed up to 50 people. 